NOLA Pender's Health Promotion Model Overview What is Pender's Health Promotion Model? Currently, Nola Pender is a professor emerita at the University of Michigan School of Nursing. Nola developed the Health Promotion Model, HPM, which has become popular among healthcare providers, educators, and researchers. She has taught nursing for over 40 years. Nola also has lifetime awards and honors in nursing. In addition, she has written several scholarly articles and books about nursing. NOLA proposed the model in 1982 and revised it in 1996 intending to develop a complementary counterpart to models of health protection. The model goes beyond a mere absence of ill health to positive dynamics that promote good health. The model focuses on the well-being of the patient by looking at several aspects of how an individual interacts with the environment. The focus is on the following aspects. Experiences and Characteristics of a Person Behavioral Outcomes Effect and Behavior-Specific Cognitions The concepts of the HPM include Environment Person Health Nursing Illness The environment has influences on a person, but people also strive to create a favorable environment in which they can realize their potential fully. At the same time, people's characteristics and experiences in life also shape their behaviors. The environmental factors include social, cultural, and physical aspects. Individuals can manipulate environmental aspects to enhance positive outcomes and health-promoting behaviors. Nurses have a role in providing treatments, but they must also collaborate with the patients, families, and communities to establish the best conditions for health promotion. Pender's Health Promotion Model Purpose Pender's Health Promotion Model aims to promote health and prevent illness by addressing the multiple factors influencing an individual's health. The model is designed to help healthcare professionals and researchers understand the complex interactions between different factors that add to an individual's health status and to guide the development of health promotion interventions tailored to each individual's unique needs. The model emphasizes that health promotion should be a holistic approach addressing the physical, psychological, social, and environmental factors that influence health. By considering the multiple factors that affect health, the model aims to empower individuals to take control of their health and to make positive changes in their behaviors and environment. Ultimately, Pender's health promotion model aims to improve the overall health of individuals and communities. It encourages healthy behaviors and addresses the factors contributing to poor health. Pender's Health Promotion Model The General Assumptions An individual strives to create the best living environment. An individual can perform a self assessment and determine his or her strengths. People prefer positive outcomes and growth. An individual can control his or her behavior. People interact with the environment and exert influence on it. Nurses and other healthcare providers are part of the community that can influence positive health outcomes. People can transform their behaviors if necessary. Pender's Health Promotion Model Relevance Nurses have a chief role in promoting positive health and preventing illnesses. Health promotion is effective in enhancing the quality of life and well-being of individuals in different settings. The model seeks to promote a balanced approach to life. In other words, people need to ensure that they have balanced physical, social, and mental aspects of life. The model can target individuals, families, a given group, community, or patients within a healthcare setting. Nurses can instill positive behaviors among patients through education and promotion of healthy lifestyles and habits. Nurses have engaged in curative, disease prevention, and promotion of good health and well-being. The focus has been to enhance the overall health of patients. This gives nurses the role of public health advocates, educators, and promoters of health habits and lifestyles among their clients. The model has been effective in applying evidence-based practices in a healthcare setting. Health Promotion Model Application Pender asserts that the model aims to assist nurses in understanding the major determinants of health behaviors as a basis for behavioral counseling to promote healthy lifestyles. 
nurses have the ability to exert influence and recommend best practices for their patients. The model has been effective in promoting healthy living through physical activities among women cancer survivors. The National Cancer Institute noted, women who exercised moderately after diagnosis of breast cancer had improved survival rates compared to sedentary women. The model has also been effective in promoting evidence-based practices in nursing courses. Strengths and Weaknesses of Pender's Health Promotion Model While the PHPM has many strengths, including its emphasis on the individual and the incorporation of multiple levels of influence, it also has some limitations and criticisms. In this section, we will discuss the strengths and weaknesses of Pender's Health Promotion Model. Strengths a number of researchers have used Pender's model as a framework for studying various aspects related to health. Some of the strengths include The HPM looks at several factors that can motivate people to engage in health-promoting behaviors. The model focuses on specific interventions for an individual patient based on behaviors, goals, and settings. The role of nurses goes beyond treatment to health promoters by strengthening resources, potentials, and capabilities for each patient and providing resources and education to promote improved health and a better quality of life. Some studies have shown that tailoring interventions has been found to increase intervention effectiveness. Nurses and patients work as a team to promote positive health outcomes. Weaknesses this model cannot accurately serve a family or a community as a unit because it focuses on an individual. The HPM may not adequately address the health needs of adolescents because adolescents cannot make independent decisions like adults. No sufficient data exists on the health outcomes of adolescents.